Scuba divers in Monterey have made a surprising discovery, an exotic warm water fish native to the coast of Japan. It's believed to have come here after the devastating 2011 tsunami. KPI x Files Len Ramirez on what's being called the tsunami fish. Well, this really does seem like a real-life Finding Nemo. Japan is 5,000 miles that way, and the tsunami happened seven years ago. And after all that time and distance, this little fish wound up right here and seems to have found a home at Breakwater Cove. Like a jumpsuit at jailbreaker in black and white stripes, the barred knife jaw fish stands out in this underwater crowd. It's an exotic warm water species native to Japan that somehow is surviving in the chilly waters of Monterey Bay. As of now, it's just one lone fish trying to fit in with the rest of the school. Divers Dennis Lewis and Nicholas Taw first spotted the fish several weeks ago. Then, just days ago, they spotted it again, hanging out in Breakwater Cove in Monterey. This time, Nicholas had his camera and recorded the visitor swimming casually among the kelp beds. It is possible that um, Japanese tsunami and marine debris did pass by Monterey and left a smattering of individuals here. No one knows exactly how the fish got here, but scientists from Moss Landing Marine Labs have documented other species in Monterey Bay that came from the Japanese tsunami. And it's not an easy life. Ta's video captured the newcomer being run off by other native fish, but he admires the tsunami fish for its tenacity. It's endurance. It's, a, it's, a, it's ability to survive and grow um, despite being... 10, more than 10 degrees Celsius change. It's uh, incredible to see a warm water species come over here. The fish have also been spotted in Oregon and Southern California. Scientists believe there is little danger of it becoming invasive because the colder water will likely keep it from reproducing. So after the long journey across the Pacific, this might be its final stop. In Monterey, Len Ramirez, KPIX5.